Hi, this is Ken. Today I am uh, invited some experts to introduce you the navigation interface for uh, 2015 Colorado. And uh, now we have Greg on the car. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, he is going to introduce you the experience of the navigation interface from Centigrade. Okay. The navigation that we're using right now is an excellent OEM integration piece. As witnessed by the menu screen, you will see the right icon that will allow you to get to the aftermarket navigation piece, which does give you nav, HDMI, video, um, ODB, OBD information, as well as settings. Let's start with navigation. When you hit the navigation, this is your warm-up screen that you do have. It is full touch screen. You can get to a new route, hit an address, and if you want to stay within a certain state, great. If not, you have to change the state to the state that you're going. You can find a city by zip code or by uh, the city name. So let's go ahead and find one by city. and we're in the Tampa Bay area that we're going to. Street name, we'll just pick County Line Road. We can even do a house number. These automatically knows that the house numbers on County Line Road start at 2,800 and only go to 20, 28,000 and only go to 28,050. So we're gonna hit 28,004. And it's gonna bring us to select as a destination, shows us where our destination is, calculates the route. We can go ahead and start navigation. Route information is over here where we can tap that. There's going to be toll gates at 2.1 miles. We are going to be on a toll road. We can always avoid that if we need to. I have alternative routes in case we don't want to go. We got an easy route number one or an easy route number two. So let's pick number two and hit select and we're going to start navigation. What this is telling us is that if we leave right now, we'll be at that destination by 357. It's going to take us two hours and 13 minutes and it's 114 miles. As we go, we can do that. I've changed my mind. I don't want to go to that destination anymore. It's as simple as hitting your information and hit delete route. Are you sure you want to delete the route? Yes, I do. Brings us back to the main screen. Something that I like about these features of it, all of the factory features does work with the navigation screen. So if I do change my AC controls, if I wanna turn my fan down, if I wanna change anything right here, it shows me right on the screen uh, without taking off the navigation screen. Something uh, really, really cool, and they're the only ones that do it. I can go back to the main menu. Stop. Trip computers, which uh, gives you your arrival time, your your altitude, everything that uh, you would possibly need. Um, Bluetooth. When you have an incoming call, it still stays on your uh, still stays on your navigation screen. It gives you the information here as well as uh, the factory gauge control. You can answer it via the touch screen, or you can answer it or ignore it uh, via the steering wheel control buttons. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my home menu, go back, and let's go to HDMI video. I'm gonna connect my iPhone 6 Plus. and hit the video button. If your phone supports landscape, you can see everything right there. I can read all my text messages. I can check my email.
I can do anything on the phone. This does not touch for the uh, phone controls. Phone controls will still be on the phone. However, it gives you the display on the eight inch screen. You do anything that you want to do, including video, pictures, etc. Pretty neat. After we're through with the HDMI video, I go ahead and hit my, my home button again. I can get all sorts of OBD information. Gives me my battery voltage, temperatures. RPMs, when a door opens, it will give you the side warning that a door is open. Open the driver door, now you can see the two front doors are open. Closes, this closes. Reads everything off from your OBD right onto the screen. Go ahead and hit my home button again. And then I have all of my settings for my media, my system, my navigation, whatever you want. Also, this does the OnStar navigation, quite important. Some people do like to pay for the service of OnStar navigation. This will allow you to have OnStar navigation with this system so when they use the OnStar and they have the, the directions sent to them it'll apply right onto the navigation screen no other aftermarket company is doing that also when you have the as he was just witnessing when you have the navigation and you are on your home screen and you press on star nav it'll go right to the aftermarket navigation screen so you can do your touch screen controls for anything that you want to do when you're on your radio screens right now we're on the XM radio screen you see the icons across the top of your Bluetooth your audio as well as that That'll take you back to your mapping screen as well. Pretty neat feature. So again, we're on the XM screen. You can see the compass up at top, tap the compass. You have your mapping software right there. Okay. Like your face. Okay, thank you so much for Greg's uh, expedition. And uh, thank you, this would be all. If you have any further questions, you can reach me by my email. Thank you so much.